Okay, I'm here, I'm ready to go. Let's begin. Hello and welcome to Media Academy Online's Entertainment News, the show that gives you or your entertainment news weekly. I almost didn't do this today, I was a bit lazy. I was like, oh, will anyone even notice? Probably not. But I was like, oh no, I'll do it. I'll get up, I won't be lazy, and I'll make this video. Because the people watching this, all 20 to 30 of you, I had to do it for you guys. And I've already taken care of it, so it's not even really a problem anymore. Ah, yeah. Thanks for watching, by the way. Making sure that I'm not talking to myself. It's helpful. I'm here every week to inform you, educate. I'm like a teacher in a classroom who will also have 20 to 30 people educating. Back to school, back to school, to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. All right, I'm getting carried away here, so let's actually get back onto the news. Today, we're going to be talking about getting the industry uh, back up and running again. And it's interesting because there's still a lot of people who are afraid to go to the cinemas, which is quite expected, um, having to sit in a, in a theatre with potentially sick people and have to sit there for hours on end. Hi. Hi. But first bit of news, there's a glimmer of hope uh, in the form of drive-ins. So it seems like potentially drive-ins could save the industry. Because people aren't willing to go to sit down in actual cinemas, but they might be willing to go to drive-ins. And it's something that kind of became a niche for a lot of people, and there's still a few around, um, but not everyone goes to them. This potentially could be a way of people being able to go and see the movie, but still being in their confined, safe bubble. The drive-ins have kind of really picked up in popularity since this virus has come. So, and it's in Australia, it's the only form of cinema that's actually open. So it means that people can go and see these films feeling safe. So I was going to go to the drive-ins yesterday, last night, and then I looked it up and they're charging 30 bucks. And I'm like, nah, mate, I'm not going to pay 30 bucks. I need more money, Steve. Billy. I need more money. So I didn't go. Anyway, uh, back to the news. Continue on this news about getting the industry back and up and running. It sounds like in California, they're going to allow productions to all start to film again by June 12th. So that's very soon. Very hopeful. Everyone can get <laughs> making all their films again. It really has halted the industry and uh, it's going to be felt for years to come. This, this distance, this time where everything was just paused and nothing was happening. It's good we can uh, start resuming all these films again in California, in Los Angeles. So we'll see how that goes. As long as everyone's safe and they're keeping their distance, we'll be fine. Imagine how that'll work. It's like all the actors have to keep one and a half meters from each other. So that'd be an interesting kind of film. Have a romantic scene, but they're, they're standing two meters from each other. It's like, I love you so much. I love you too. Let's embrace from a distance. Air hugs, I suppose. Blow kisses to one another. Bit interesting kind of film. Anyway, uh, next bit of news. Um, so it sounds like they're probably getting a bit nervy with Tenet and they actually might actually push back the um, date. Tenet was gonna be the first film to get released after this whole epi epidemic and the cinemas open again, um, but as we were discussing, everyone's still a bit nervy and the virus is still out there. So people are afraid to go and see films. Tenet was going to be that shining light, that moment where we can all go and see movies again and get entertained again. But no, nah, they, um, yeah, it doesn't look like they're, they're, that's going to happen. They got a bit nervous. They're like, ooh. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, next bit of news. It sounds like AMC might not actually make it through this pandemic. They reckon, yes, they'll be out open, but even since then, their debt has just grown so high that they're not sure if they'll be able to stay open for much longer once they do open. The reason why I mention it is because there's been a roller coaster with this company and it's America's biggest cinema chain. No one's sure because they put so much money early on developing their services and developing all their infrastructure that put them into debt, which would normally be fine, but then the virus came and then they weren't they didn't have that revenue coming in to pay off those debts. So maybe they might still get bought out. Maybe Amazon are still looking at it. I still think Amazon should probably do it. They, they can do it. They've got so much money. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Uh, make sure you leave a comment 
because I did the effort of actually making this video, I think you should do the effort of uh, leaving me a comment. Go and do it right now, please. That'll be great. Other than that, make sure you do me solid, like, subscribe, ring that bell, be awesome, and I'll see you in the next one, as long as I can be willing to do it, and I'm not going to be a lazy ass. See you later.